Hello everybody, Stallion Zane, some Jack Boy here, bringing you guys a very special video. Before I say anything else, I just want to apologize for the lack of content within these last few days. I've just been really busy, guys, um, so I apologize about that. But anyway, um, today I'm going to be uh, showcasing another mod, you guys, for Borderlands 1. Uh, this mod is called the Scavenger Shield mod, uh, hence the shield that you see on screen. Uh, and this mod is really similar to the Bandit Weapons mod. Except it's made by a dude named Kiriev, and I'm sorry if I pronounced that man, or pronounced that wrong, man. Uh, just correct me in the comments below. But anyway, um, yeah, like I said, the shield is really similar to the Bandit Weapons mod, to that of which you have a shield and um, it has a chance to drop items. But unlike the Bandit Weapons shield, it actually has a chance to drop just tons of different custom weapons um, and just all this really cool stuff. So there's different versions of this shield, as you can see there's the one on the screen, um, there's just the plain scavenger, has a 25% chance to drop an item, there's the ultimate scavenger, um, and then there's the diabolic scavenger, so I'll go over those right now. Okay guys, so first things first, we have the scavenger and ultimate scavenger shields. Um, the scavenger legendary one was the one I just showed you guys on the screen It has a 25% chance to drop an item and then you have the ultimate scavenger Which has a hundred percent chance to drop an item. So it's just like the bandit weapons mod um, You know, it's pretty much the same shield just different chances to drop items, which is really cool um, but what's really cool about the, the scavenger and ultimate scavenger shields is that they can spawn with random parts and uh, manufacturers making them different every time which is really awesome so let's say you you started out with uh, you know not the best version that you can get because obviously you know if they spawn with different manufacturers and parts that means you can get better versions right so what's also really cool is that the scavenger actually has the scavenger shields in its loot pool so you can farm for different scavengers and better scavenger shields um, you know if you wanted to um, now next up we have the diabolic scavenger so this version of the shield has a 50% um, chance to drop an item um, but what makes this thing just pretty insane is that it actually comes with predefined parts um, and these parts are like really special um, as you can see in the text it says it has high capacity high recharge rate low re recharge delay 70% health boost and high rate health regeneration so this is pretty much an overpowered shield um, if you if you just feel like beasting up everything um, you're not a big fan of farming um, you can just you can just rock out with this shield um, all scavenger shields actually have a built-in speed boost of 80% meaning that your guy will be running around really fast at all times pretty much cutting the, the the farm time of basically everything in half which is actually really good you know I, I didn't think I'd like it at first but it's actually really good and I know um, you guys out there that like to farm will actually like this I want you give it a try so anyway guys look at this uh, look what this psycho dropped it's actually a custom item um, and yes the scavenger shield has a chance to drop custom items made by um, really awesome members of the uh, Borderlands modding community. This includes Sleepmaster, uh, Nola for the win, and uh, Mr. Grimjow, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, he also makes really cool custom weapons. So now going over the loot pools for this shield, remember guys, uh, depending on which type of shield you have, whether it's just the, the scavenger, ultimate scavenger, or the diabolic scavenger, the chances of items dropping will be different. And before I talk about anything else, remember guys, you can download this mod. There will be a link in the description below that takes you to the thread where you can, you know, learn more about this mod um, and download it. Um, so make sure you guys do that if you are interested. But anyway, the loot pools, um, they include, like I said, Sleep Master's weapons. Uh, as you can see, it's scaled to your level. They have a 20% chance to drop. Uh, Nola for the wins weapons, um, also scale to your level, I'm pretty sure all these scale to your level. 20% chance to drop, Ajax's spear for farming the ogre, so that's really awesome. So if you guys don't want to keep farming, you know, um, uh, Ajax for the Ajax ogre, then you um, can always equip this shield and beast it up. Now, also there's just plain pearlescent weapons and shields, just the legit ones, which is awesome. Um, I feel like the chances need to be like 0.1 chance on that, just to be kind of fair. I'm just kind of the, one of those guys that, you know, really wants my pearlescence rare. <laughs> um, 
Sleep Master's Bandit Weapon. So you don't have to have the Bandit Farm Shield to actually get Bandit Weapons. So this is another way if you guys want to uh, use this. Um, scavenger Shields, like I said, uh, you can get different types or different versions of the Scavenger Shield if you want it, uh, if you want to upgrade yours. And then Mr. Grimjowl, uh, 20%. So his weapons and custom items, which is really awesome. Oh, and I better mention this. It's actually really important. Um, but in order to get Mr. Grimjowl's weapons and items in the in the loot pool um, and everything under the update notes section on this screen, you actually need to get this little patch for the mod. So if you guys get the mod, make sure you guys get this little patch um, as well. It'll be at the top of the thread and you guys can't miss it. So yeah, make sure you guys get this mod if you're interested. Like I said, there'll be a download link in the description below. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this, and before I go, I'm actually going to show a little bit more uh, gameplay footage off of this mod, because I feel like there's not, there hasn't been a lot of gameplay uh, within this video, so it'll actually be some pretty beastly gameplay, hopefully. I actually found a couple of really awesome weapons uh, within this mod, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy this last little clip, and I'm out of here. Peace!